Welcome to a How to Internet Facebook Basics uh, tutorial. This is a very, very basic tutorial um, on how to navigate or at least get started with Facebook, the very basics of Facebook because there is quite a few components to it. If you're looking for something a little more advanced, this definitely isn't for you, but for somebody that's new to the internet or somebody that's completely new to Facebook, this is a very simplistic explanation of Facebook and the things that you should understand so you can at least get started and kind of figure your way around things. Now this is strictly just on a computer version, so I'm on a, a personal computer right now. So your personal computer, which is your, your desktop, I have a monitor and I have a separate tower, which is my computer. And then you have a laptop, which obviously you can be mobile with, but it's the, pretty much the same as a computer version. And then you'll have um, your Android and your iOS in terms of your cell phones and your tablets. This is just a computer version. Uh, the majority of the features are the same across all platforms, but I will create an iOS, so like your iPhone and iPad, I'll create one for that because it does look a little bit different when you're on a smaller screen and using an app versus using a website. And then uh, I'll create one as well on Android too, so you can see what it looks like on a tablet or a Samsung phone. So some of the basic things that we're gonna go over, which are necessities and a great way to just get started is creating your profile on Facebook, if you haven't already. Um, how to navigate your newsfeed, what it means, and how to navigate your profile. Then we're going to look at creating, commenting, and liking posts, and safely logging in and out of your account, which I know is a, is a big worry for a lot of people, but it's very simplistic. So you're going to want to open up Facebook.com. You can Google Facebook as well. It'll generally be the first link. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to register an account with your first name, your last name, your mobile phone number, or email, a password, birth date, and then... Um, your gender as well and you can sign up. Now my recommendation is to always use an email and I would say that you should always have two email accounts and that might be a little much for you. My reasoning solely for that is one email account you keep very private for important things. Um, it could be like registered with your government account, it could be for your banking, um, and emails you might exchange with um, your friends or, or your family. So it's a very specific one and one that a bunch of emails isn't coming into that often but it has importance to it. And then I have a second email account, and that email account um, is for any social media accounts that I might have. It's for um, any newsletters that I might sign up for for other websites, any coupons I might sign up for with companies, like you might go to the mall and they might ask for your email there when they're purchasing or checking out. Um, and I have an email for that. And I like having that email because, I mean, I get thousands and thousands of monthly emails in there, but if I ever go to a store and I'm looking for a discount, I can just open it up and, and look for or search for that company to see if there's any any discounts in there but in terms of like just spam because everybody wants to email you it just keeps things much more organized to have that private one which you'll use for your important things and then have one that is strictly just for social settings or, or social media accounts so after you've created uh, your account you're going to see the same screen when you go to Facebook to log in so you want to sign in with your email or your phone number I use an email password and then you want to click the login button and right away, what we get is what we call our newsfeed. So this is the default screen for Facebook anytime you sign in, and that's across all platforms. You will always see your newsfeed first. And your newsfeed is basically posts um, that your friends or family, whoever your friends are on Facebook, we just refer to them as friends, whether they're family or not, where your friends posts, including like photos, maybe a status, places that they're going, like they can check in, things that they share. If I really thought this was funny, then I could share something like that. So. That's what's gonna show up on here as well. You'll see some ads too. So every few posts will be from your friends or family, and then you will see some sponsored ads in between as well. Please be very cautious with the sponsored ads because although there is quite a few legitimate companies that do run ads on Facebook, um, there's some that aren't so legitimate. So not that they're taking information from you or anything like that, but if you like a product like this, for example, and you want to purchase it, maybe consult somebody in your family or one of your friends that is familiar with technology and can maybe review it for you first just to make sure that it is a legitimate website and you are going to receive whatever it is that you want to purchase. But ads are something that you will see. So this middle column here is strictly just your news feed. Now, Facebook has what's called an algorithm, and that algorithm um, means it's a very smart algorithm. Based off the posts that you interact with, and what I mean by that is by liking a post or by commenting on a post, the more that you do that, the more that you'll see of that. So if I kept or continued to like and comment on posts from Justin Wall and the Beyond Six Figures with Justin Wall Group, I'd start to continually see more posts from there. Whereas uh, a page, if you interact with that page, you might see more of their content. 
So we've gone ahead and we've created our profile and we've signed in and we've taken a look at what the news feed is. And that's the most important thing about the news feed. It's just something that you can continually scroll through. It's endless, so you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It does not end. But again, just remember that it is algorithm based. So whatever you engage with most, you're more likely to see from, from Facebook. Um, from there, you can see up here that you have a picture as well as your name. And if you click on it, that'll take you to your profile. Now your profile has an abundance of information where you can create a post, where you can upload photos, um, you can see your friends, information about you. Um, and then you have all these additional um, settings as well. So generally you just have a profile photo of who you are. Sometimes you can create a banner photo as well, or cover photo rather. Um, but similar to the news feed, uh, this news feed is strictly based off of you. So only things that you've uploaded or shared um, will end up on this feed because it's specific to your profile. Now, if we go back to Facebook here with the Facebook button, again, you're back on the news feed again. So those are the two most important things that you want to know when you sign in. So that you have your news feed, which is where you're going to see all your posts. And then you have your profile, which you can get to by clicking on your name. And you can see things about you. And this is where you can go into customizations and, and view your friends and all the, the more personal details of things. But this will always be the default that you will see when you sign into Facebook. Um, now, creating, commenting, and liking posts. Again, you have two options to where you can create uh, create posts. So again, right on the, the news feed right here, what's on your mind? I can type whatever I would like right now, and then you can choose that who you want to share this post with. If you just want to show, share it with friends, if you want it to be public, which means that anybody on Facebook can see it, um, and then I think you can block out specific people as well. I'm just going to skip that for now. Um, so I can say, um, oops, I'm recording a Facebook tutorial video and then I press post and that's just text so only I'm recording a Facebook video from my name is going to show up if I wanted to I could add a photo to it I could tag people in it so if I went on a vacation I could say that I went with Bob Joe and Sue and I could tag all their accounts as well so it would notify them and let them know um, but this is the most basic thing now this used to be a pretty popular feature back when Facebook was relatively new, but in this day and age, statuses aren't very common anymore to just kind of write what you're feeling, unless you know you're, you're ranting about something or there's a discussion that you want to talk about. But even then, it's pretty far and few between what status is. Um, and in this section, you can also upload photos if you would like to. So one option is that you can do it on your home page right here, right when you sign in. Or if you go to your profile, you'll see the exact same box option Again, right there, which you can type the same status. And then once you're, you're done, you would just push hello, and then all of your friends can see that status. Okay, now commenting and liking posts. So for example, um, if I like this post, you'll see an option right here with the thumbs up to like it, or I can comment on it. So if you like it, that's just a little thumbs up, a little blue thumb, and you liked it, and to comment on it, you can either click the comment button, or, Right down here, you can click where it says write a comment. You would type hello, and then it's going to show up on that person's post, and they would get a notification that I commented on their post. So if you have a family member, you like their photo, you can say nice photo and post it. Uh, you just press the enter key on your keyboard. Now, if you keep your mouse on top of like, Facebook did recently add in over the, the past few years or recent few years um, these different reactions. So if you love the post because you love the photo, or you think it's funny, or it's astonishing, or it's very sad, or it makes you angry, you can just keep your mouse over top of it, and after a second, this option will pop up. But otherwise, liking was one of the basic fundamentals of Facebook that um, you probably want to stick with. So that is um, creating, commenting, and liking posts. And then lastly is safely logging in and out. So you'll see this little arrow up here in the top right corner, an arrow pointing down, which is going to give you more options as you see here. The very last option is to log out, and that's your main focal point. You just want to click log out. So when you're done using Facebook for the day, simply just push log out, and then you're done. Okay? And that's everything. Um, if you have any more questions, or any questions at all, rather, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And in the next video, we'll go a little bit more in-depth of the Facebook features, as well as a variety of different platforms. Okay? Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.